Hello everybody, in this video I'm gonna show you how to run and debug your React Native application in the JetBrains WebStorm IDE. So here's some of my project I'm working recently open and in the WebStorm and I want to add um, configuration. We need to click plus and here we're looking for React Native type in name, I want to call it like iPhone 8 and select iOS and the arguments. Arguments will be same arguments we can input into React Native run iOS and here we can type help and you can find all arguments we can use. First of all I want to show you how to run simulator so let's try this simulator quotes let's say iPhone 8 apply and now we have this configuration and we can press run and as you can see it works in building the project uh, it runs react native start react native packager and react native run iOS with variables iPhone 8 Okay, it's running, cool. Let's continue and usually I'm testing my app in different simulators. So I want to create another simulator like iPhone 11, select iOS, same simulator iPhone 11 select run and here we are iPhone 11 simulator is running cool next I think we want to add release version of run configuration so let's go to the xcode first run xcode project and here in the xcode we have different schemas for for running our app if you press edit scheme our default we can see build configuration is debug I want to have release schema so I duplicate it and let's name it just release what we can do here is add schema sorry scheme release and it will build release scheme for us next we probably want to run our app on the real device so let's do this configuration again I want to react native iOS iOS uh, let's name it device for device we need device 
with the name of the device. It should be equal here. And for device name, you can see here is my device, Dmitri's iPhone. Okay, I think it's well configured for iOS. Let's do configuration for Android. Let's add another configuration. Let's name it Android Debug. And I don't think we need any arguments here. It will run Debug by default. For Android release, let's take a look. Android help. Yeah, we can use variant here as a param. So Android release and variant will be release react native run android will not run uh, android emulator for you so you have to run your emulator first and then only run your configuration what i want to show you next is how to debug inside the WebStorm IDE. Let's back to the iPhone 8 configuration. And here you can see run button and close is debug. When we run in debug, it will run simulator and also separate Chrome instance with react native debugger it's still running yep when we run we also need to start debug in the simulator and we can see it works as usually in react native and what i want to show is debugging inside the ide we can put breakpoints inside the code run our app and now you can see it stops at our breakpoints and we can uh, check the value do some stepping here step over step inside check values of the variables uh, i found it is really useful and much more handy than do some add some debug variable like this and checking inside the browser debugger it's also useful but now most of the time i'm using debug inside the ide that's it thank you for watching we'll see you in the next video